greetings and welcome to Maisha Kazini. We are back again with Modekai Ogada discussing the recent events that have happened. And we specifically want to begin with the King's visit and to see what, what that visit implies for us as Kenyans. So Karibu Ogada. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. So me, the King's visit, me, I just said I'm not commenting. <laughs> It was just too weird. Too no, that that, weird. that 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 was just a weird choreographed dance of empire to 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 show that the empire is still great, is still intact. There was nothing in it for us, and um, yeah, all these approaches from media houses wanting comments on this and that were just to try and to try and make the the story whole that we've covered all bases, mm. we've talked to everybody we are talking about to, but um, it was all it was all rubbish. It was choreographed and these media houses were I, either coerced or or paid or whatever, but gotten to to jump on the gravy train and join the narrative. But there was not, they, we weren't part of the story at all. And, and it was funny, especially that apology story of the Western media, both of us were yeah. being called by journalists yeah. from western media houses what is that what was that apology story about the apology the apology story was to again sort of cover base that we talked to everybody so people like me and you are now props in this thing it's like a play and we are props that that show that the play was realistic and the play was 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 uh, believed to make it believable to make it look good because i was shocked Getting calls from people like Reuters, and and I'm asking someone where did you get where did you get my phone number? One person actually told me they got my phone number from Larry Mado. I, I don't know Larry Mado, and I didn't know Larry had my phone number. But someone actually told me they got my phone number from him. And but the anxiety for them, they wanted me to talk to them, and I was in Cape Town at the time. And I said no, I'm I'm away on my own business, and I don't want to talk about this. Why weren't they calling us last year? Mm. to talk about these things when we talk about these things they don't want to listen when they have a narrative to sell they suddenly want to talk to us you know like me i don't know anything about apology reparations uh, i'm not saying yeah. that's not important but i don't know much about yeah, it and and, yeah. and in fact i i try to tell some some journalists i don't know anything about that but they want to put yeah. your face there on the screen saying, yes. yeah, we talked to these post-colonial yeah. critics. They were saying, yeah. oh, la, la, la. And they knew yeah. the king was not going to apologize. Come on. He wasn't. Yeah, and they couldn't call even the, the community who were affected by the wildfires in Loldaiga, started by the soldiers. They couldn't call Agnes mm -hmm. Wanjiru's family. Yeah. Why are they calling me? And, or, or you? That's avoiding the real issue. But you just want someone with some credibility to 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 lend to your to your tall story, your tall tale. And the king was not going to apologize. Come no, on, no, no. Why was he no, no. insisting on that story? No, no. He's an he's an emperor. There's an empire. You don't apologize to your subjects. And yeah. they're insisting on it because I don't know. There were some people trying to gain political credit for it or so it has politically valuable if there was any political value it, between kenya and the uk rishi sunak is the one who should have come not and the king is the statement yes one rishi sunak he's the one whose voice actually matters in policy but but this apology reparation story I just find it funny. Why is it the West pushing it? Because you would think it's it's uh, the victims. Yeah. Now it's yeah. the, the, perpetrator. the perpetrators. Why are they promoting this story? I think the West is suffering catastrophic loss of credibility. Ah, yeah. And for a long time, they really looked good. For many years, even as we grew up, they really looked good. Mm -hmm. And and now now the mask is just worn out or getting torn and there are holes in it, and they need to patch up the holes with things like apologies. I mean, why sixty years later? Why sixty years later? It's and so and it's strange. Yeah, it's just the, this loss of loss of moral authority or credibility in the West 
that's now moving towards the east and 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 uh, moving moving towards the global south people have different interests and suddenly there are so many people who don't care what the west think or say, thinks or says because of the past and that's why we always talk about our history like look what happened in west africa france said we are going to cut you off and those guys what are you going to cut off you've been robbing yeah. us thank god you're cutting <laughs> us off by the way yeah yeah because those those young soldiers are obviously people who've read history. Ah, yeah, they have. Those guys have read history, young as they are. Mm. They have read history. They're not like Kenyans who talk about the past instead of talking about history. History. Yeah. And I think especially after the Ukraine thing and then Niger. Yes. Now yes. the West had to to look like they are listening to us. And it's and it's like these dominoes. There's Ukraine. There's West yeah. Africa. Now there's Israel. Israel. Yeah, these masks are just getting torn, and and holes are appearing everywhere. But instead of actually coming to say, what do you people think? They are coming yeah. to ask us questions that are already pre-prepared. It's kind yes, of yes. something. Yes. Can you help us put on our makeup? We yeah. Need to look good. Yeah. Because now they, they force you to answer questions you had not thought about. Then you start with yeah. your time trying to research so that you can be prepared for the media. No, I'm not doing that. And you are answering their questions, not yours. Their questions. I mean, I have my mind. questions. Yes. But I don't want, but you want me to answer yours. <laughs> I've got my own. Thank you very much. Uh, I was kind of Although, honestly speaking, I did the work. I tried to look for other people who could answer most people. Actually, I asked I, quite a number of people. They said no. No, I was just irritated but mm. I, at first, and I refused because I couldn't make it. But it's only later yeah. that I actually thought about, it, like, why? Why are you looking? Why would you search for me like that? Yeah. If it was an issue of conservation policy, I can understand why you are searching for me. Yes. But then, the king's visit. Hey, Apology. why don't you talk even? Yeah, why don't you even talk to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? You know? Yeah. yeah. Why why me? Yeah. Or to the judiciary because they are the ones who know about uh, the reparations case. Yes, yes. Or you can even talk to you can even talk to Anglican clergy. He's the head of the Anglican Church. <laughs> By the way, you can talk to his yes. church. Yes, yes. But not me. I don't know. And you see, that's the, the thing about uh, the way we are treated as Africans. It's like we are supposed yeah. to know any topic on Africa. About anything, yeah. We must be able to say it at the top of the heart because surely yeah. it can't be that complicated. And be and and what be thankful for them talking to us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You say it and be and feel feel uh, honored by to to have been asked. Let those journalists do their work. Find the yes. victims. Find the right people. Those yes. who are to be be paid yes yeah and, and many times them. when they call us we do this work for free so oh yes oh yes yeah i mean come on a paid yeah, person is calling you and i mean reuters is reuters is paid for their stories yes so they get it from you for free and sell it on yeah yeah no no that, that 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 that's 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 not good that's not good enough you and me i can put a microphone and computer and tell my own story i don't need to tell it to you <laughs> anyway, now that we have yeah. internet and everything yeah. yeah 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 and and you were saying they were pushing a narrative rather than pursuing a story the, yeah rather than the real story and and you see the the british are so good at this oh, when it's something they proud of they're proud of and their pomp, they say it's our history, it's our this, it's our this. They can even quote for you things which happened in 1066 and all that. But when it's something they are not proud of, no, that's the past. They can't even tell you what happened in 1957. That's the past. Hmm? What they did in 1957, the 1950s, that was the past. Mm, don't want mm. to talk about it. Mm. Hmm? When they were with the coronation of King Charles, they brought out some ancient artifacts from I don't know which century were being placed <laughs> on cushions there, being passed around. As we just want Kimathi's bones of 1957, you can't give them to us. And mm -hmm. you know, when they get hollow people like, like the state officials, officials we have in Kenya government, these people play right into their hands. In fact, some yeah, of the statements being given, I think, were issued from the British High Commission. 
judging by the tone of it. Like, what has that got to do with Kenya? I'm hearing people saying things. I mean, what's that got to do with us? Mm. But we are paying for our disrespect of history, basically. Yes. We are paying history, for his History is a harsh teacher. It mm. demands payment and it does mm -hmm. not forgive. Mm. It never forgives. Mm. Yeah. Because a lot of Kenyans also tell me, oh, that was colonialism. It was in mm. the past. What does the past have to do with? Mm. I mean, and you see the West is failing at doing this because suddenly you see what's going on in the Middle East. People don't want to talk of any history be before October 7th, 2020. Yes. It's like history started in October. History started last month. No one wants to talk about 1948. Nobody. Or oh, 19, was it 17 or 1919? Yes, yes, 1919, yeah. yeah. No one wants to talk about that. Everyone wants to talk about 2023, October 7. That's what all this is about. That doesn't cut it. Hey, but the West is an expert at doing this, man. Yeah, and, it, <laughs> and, it, and it, has, it has succeeded for 70, 80 years. Yeah. But suddenly... It's just unraveled. It's like a soap you used to bathe every day. Then one day it, it's finished. Or a bucket you used to, to get water from the well every day. Then one day it rusts and it and the bottom drops out. And you get desperate, like what they are now. I mean, like even uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Poverty. They don't want they don't want us to no. discuss how it started. No, no, no. No, they no. don't want us to discuss IMF, World Bank, and slavery. Yeah. No, yeah. we yeah. must not talk about that. Oh, the problem is African countries have yeah. dug this hole themselves. Yeah, yeah. And it don't works. Hey, it's yeah. so effective. We don't want to accept today even that the Bretton Woods institutions were created expressly to extend Western hegemony, mm. economic hegemony. That was their purpose. They are not doing something wrong. What they are doing is exactly what they were what created for. And we still get our monetary policy people, central bank governor. We keep hiring these people from IMF. You always a Kenyan who goes to work for IMF usually ends up back in Central Bank of Kenya. Yes. Yeah. Or or in Ministry the, of Finance. Yeah. First they go to these Ivy League economics departments. Yes. Then they then go to Bank Woods. IMF. Then they now then go back to Kenya to government. Bank. And we are supposed to say there's no problem, it's just implementation. Yeah, and it's just implementation <laughs> issues. They call it te te got teething problems. <laughs> yeah. Te it's capacity. Yeah. We don't have capacity, it's capacity to understand. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the difference between the narrative and the story? How you were explaining the, to me. Uh, the, the story, the story is, is what we are defining to as history. That's what happened. Ah. That's the issue, that's the lessons, that's the, all that. The past, the past is now the narrative. The narrative now calls it the past. That's what we left behind. We, we've now grown out of that and all that. So it can even be the same incident. But if, if a bee stung me in the yeah. past, mm. if it's history, I know not to go. I don't play around with bees or to go with protective gear. Yes. But if I put it in the past, that was yesterday. Now today, I'll, I'll approach it differently. Now to, to today, I need, I need honey today, so let me go. Let me just go and grab it. I was beaten in the past, but today I'll not, I won't be beaten. It's extraordinarily stupid, but we do it all the time. See, you saw that thread about how journalists were treated bad. Yes, it's yes. It's not funny, it's not funny, sorry. Uh, <laughs> But it, yeah, they, they were, were following the, the narrative. They were not following yes, the story. Yes, I mean, the British media yeah. came to the king to, to, to polish the royalist empire Great Britain narrative. So that was their assignment. Yes. Now, Kenyan media jumped onto the same king bandwagon once he's here, but they, they, they didn't know what they were going to do there. So what, was the, what were they going to do? Those guys were there to polish the king's image. What was Kenyan media there going there to do? They didn't. They didn't have. They didn't know what they were going there to do. So 
So they end up being treated shabbily and complaining about it. But Kenyan media should have been going to Nanyuki to look for Agnes Wanjiru's mom and talk to her and bring her to the studio in Nairobi. That's what they should have been doing. They should have been going to Loldaiga and finding the people who died in that bushfire, the families, and come bring them to the studio in Nairobi and talk to them. What would you want the king to see or no? But we are busy running around in the bus following the king. Then they start complaining over nonsense, like they were not given lunch, they were not given this. I don't. They what were you doing there? They walked into it. They walked into it. I mean, the Megan scandal should have already. Yes. Yes. Them. These guys yes. don't play when it comes to photos, images, stories. Yes. They don't play. So you're working it's with... It's choreography. Yes. There's an officer at the palace who can even call the media to vilify one of the family, even if, if the family has decided we need to throw that one out. Yeah. They can call the newspapers and say, vilify this one to Memtupa. We've seen it. So is it... Hmm? Anyway... If if it's the royal family is a farm, it's not a family, it's a farm, it's an institution. Yeah. yeah. And it can even throw out their own. So who are you? Daily Nation journalist want to be given lunch. Who are you? <laughs> there's a huh? there's a big naive naivety it's about all, all, Holiness and naivety that defies belief, really. The, yeah. the British royal family, they don't play. Yeah. You better walk in there knowing what you're going for, who you're dealing with. That is an institution. Even the king himself can't speak his mind. Yes. Yes. Who are you? The king himself doesn't, the, the institution tells him what to say, even what to wear. Colors, which yes. colors do you wear today? Yes. He's told everything. That is not that is not a it's not a joke. That thing's not a joke. It's a monster. It's not like going for a rally to report on a yeah. political rally. That King George the King was it King George the Fifth, the one the one who abdicated. It wasn't a joke. He ran away. Edward. This, this yeah, Edward, sorry. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Eh? This monster scared him. He ran away. He wasn't mad. People think someone's mad to leave a throne. I mean the cash is a monster. There. There's Diana, yeah. there's Megan. Yeah. Come on. Yes. This thing is not a joke. But I think people store those things in the past. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That That's why the, the, instead of looking at this as history, at yes. Diana is the past. Edward is the past. Harry is the past. Megan is the past. Even Megan of the other day, we are calling the past. We can't say these people, even they are still old shows, shows here still with bullet wounds from their colonial days, then we say this is our friend. He's not our friend. Yeah, the cops who are shooting our, our ancestors mm. were in vehicles marked OHMS on Her Majesty's service. That Her Majesty was Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Yet we think Queen Elizabeth the late was our friend. No. She was the commander-in-chief of those forces that were killing us. So what are we what are we telling ourselves? What are we talking about, really? We're talking about the past. That's what it That's is. The past. Uh, that was the past. <laughs> now she's a charming old show show with nice uh, wearing a nice hat. I mean, we were even talking of our rich common history. That's what yes, it. our shared yeah, yeah. Our shared common our yeah. our rich shared history. And you see that 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 shared thing has come into the environmental sphere as well. Yeah, Americans are coming here. Uh, and to the Africa Climate Summit, and they're saying, yes. we must reduce our emissions. Where <laughs> Nanani? Kenya's emissions are nothing compared, compared to, yours. to you. What do you mean us? We? You and who? You with your nuclear power plants. You are saying we. How, are, how is it we? There is no we. It, there's you and there's us. Yeah. So, yeah. All we share is this planet. This forest here can't be ours. There's a Netflix documentary where Ob Obama talks about our national parks. Ours? <laughs> Sisi Nanani? Savo is ours. You can talk about Yellowstone. We have things, forums at, where we, at which we can meet. But our, now, our story is not the same. Yes. Yes. Eggs. Yes. That's it. It's not the you same. You don't. I own my story. Yeah. You keep yours. Let me keep mine.
we can share them around the table, but yeah. you cannot claim ownership to mine, and I can't claim ownership to yours. Yours mm -hmm. is yours. With its chafu, with its overconsumption and all that, even mine with its good and bad things, those are mine. Mm. It's not ours. There's no ours. When one was the colonized and one was the colonized, that yeah. history, it happened, it happened to us in the same place, but ours, it's not the same history. Mm. It happened the same place, the same time, but my forefather was the one being tortured. Your forefather was the one torturing. Mm. Yeah. That's why they are suppressing history in schools and the arts. I'm attacking Mudu is Vitu. As the president said, Vasco da Gama and Nataku Dua Nyani. Vasco da Gama doesn't fix taps. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't fix taps. But you know, he was voicing a Kenyan attitude. Why? Yes, yes. I mean, you, I, I don't like. You see the thing about Kenyan politics, when you mention somebody's name, then the conversation becomes about that person. Yeah, what I don't mean them. saying has been said by so many people. Yes. So many people have yeah. said the same thing. And it's a bit that 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 careless talk and ignoring history, it's so comfortable. It's so easy. Yeah. You be positive. One day when you don't have anything positive to say. Mm. Why are you always negative? Why are you only asking this? It's because I carry history with me. Yeah, I'm not those ones, th th those ones about who talk about that in the past. I own my history. Mm. Proudly so, because it's mine. I don't have any other story. It's this one. And any country that is hollow in that way, the way Kenya is, will stumble over. We don't know what our foreign policy, educational policy, agricultural policy, conservation policy. We don't have any. Because we are just hollow. We are looking at narratives instead of history. We are saying that's the past. That's why the UK has the world's largest ivory stockpile and they keep advising us about elephant conservation. They still have it. Yes. We banned ivory trade in 1979. UK is still the world's largest ivory trader today. And they advise us on conservation. It's not China. It's not the US. It's the UK. Number two is the US. Number three is China. <laughs> so when, when the prince was advising China about uh, not buying ivory, Kumbe, they have yeah. ivory at home. Yeah. Yeah, you realize the sort of attitude that the Chinese president usually shows. Yeah, this 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 slightly skeptical glazed over expression whenever they talk about environment mm -hmm. um conservation all the all these things because he knows he knows the, the the people talking to him are the worst culprits and 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 uh probably they even talk behind the scenes and tell them like look we are doing this for our audience so just please understand what I you know. I, the, it's it's probably Ooh. the worst the worst um sort of installed racism is yeah. the vilification of Asians and Africans over conservation. It's yeah. it's probably the most offensive form of racism. The UK is the world's leading ivory trader today. Official CITES figures today. And they still have not banned it in the House of Commons today. And they're there telling China do this Kenya. Do they're telling Kenya using ivory yeah. they're telling Kenya every all, every day they're telling Kenya about elephant conservation every day every day this Europe this Europe what it's, what yeah. it's 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 awful really it really is that hypocrisy is just it's 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 on another level I mean, they've come here now to tell, they come to sort of herd us into a position to tell us what to go and say in COP28. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? COP28, and they are the worst offenders in, in emissions, in in uh, wildlife conservation, ivory trade, trading game trophies, etc. They are the worst offenders. And the, the line they use is that Especially, I've followed the, the 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 discussions, especially in the UK in the House of Commons. Mm. They try to water it down, saying that you know we can't ban the trade in these things, or we'll ban the trade in ivory. 
they propose to ban the trade in ivory except for culturally significant items. What does that mean? Now you think about you yeah. think about what what ivory is used for. Ornaments, statues, piano keys, pipes. Is there any such thing as an ivory item that is not culturally significant? No. There's nothing like an ivory jembe <laughs> or a yeah. banga which is yeah. culture. They are all sculptures, I... carvings, jewelry, this sort of thing. Mm. Ornaments. That's what ivory is special for. So so that instantly, instantly negates anything that they're talking about money. But they still keep pontificating to the rest of the world. They'll never stop that. My goodness. In the West, they're not in a good place. And th these are the clothes that are becoming tattered now, and they need to be patched all over, all over. They keep trying to patch them by by these mamboy apologies, Sujini. Yeah. Nini. Yeah. Suddenly talking to us that we, we, we are now your partners. We are now your partners in this, we are your partners in that. Uh, and, but Kenya is a good fundi. Mutu mm mkono. -hmm. Mm. Not a fundi. Kenya does not have any ideas of oh, its own. Oh yes, yeah. We don't have designs of our own, ideas of our own, policies of our own. It's even interesting that the king came here, then went to open parliament. Yeah, yeah. That was very well planned. Completely very well planned. And you see, the level of disrespect for us. Is, mm. is such that they cannot even pretend to re reciprocate in the ceremony and stuff. When our president went there, they were in a bus. They can't even, I couldn't even have been in a car. Mm. Remember when they went for the queen's funeral? Yeah, yeah. They were in a bus. They were in a bus. Yet when this guy comes here, it's all the bells and whistles, everything. The red carpet in the, oh God, that was- Even in a national park. Yeah, we had a red carpet in a national park. And you wonder, so what was this for? And even at the worst of times, we, we'll, always, we'll always sacrifice the little we have for, for, the, for the UK. You remember, you remember when the whole world was locked down and we still put on a flight to deliver flowers mm. to the UK? And to the NHS workers. Yeah, <laughs> who are mm -hmm. underpaid and mm -hmm. overworked. Yes. <laughs> Flowers, I can tell you, is not what they needed. <laughs> what? How can Kenya get out of this? Like, I... we We will get out of it by, I've, I've, from my personal experience and what I've seen, uh, we'll get out of it by attrition, by, 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 by the, the, the hollow generation growing old and decrepit as they, they already are. I mean, they're not mm -hmm. so old chronologically, but they're already yeah. bereft of ideas yeah. and, being ignored, and being ignored by the young. Mm. That, is, that is how Kenya is going to get out of this. And you know, the biggest elephant in the room that m people can't see is the, the, the results of our last general election was a sign of that attrition mm. that the young don't the young don't give a damn anymore what the institution says. And the worst thing is that the beneficiaries of that victory have not realized that's what happened. <laughs> Maybe they instinctively feel it. I think they, they, they instinctively feel something isn't quite... But the victory see, isn't as good yeah. as they thought it would be. The work isn't as yeah. easy as they assumed. And then, you know, you come with, you want to bring in all these new ideas. But I tell you, there is the way Kenya government and mm. all our institutions are structured. They're structured like the royal court. Yes. You walk into any government institution, if you mm. had your ideas, they, they, everything conspires to kill those ideas. Everything yeah. from the size of your office, the desk, yes. the chair, the... The, the the big car with the driver saluting at the door. As in you walk into that, I say, hey, Yanni, I wanted I wanted to spoil okay. this. <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, no, no, no. 
I can't start questioning this. I mean, it's everywhere. Mm. It's everywhere. And th that, and you know, you often hear it even in conversations, people ask, what happens to people when you join Kenya government? So and so was so good, so and so was so bright, so and so had such good ideas, but since he joined government, he became A, B, C, D. Yeah. Ah, that one That's what happens. Example. That's what happens. There's, there's like mm, a poison right. in that atmosphere. Mm. Enact a good person to Kenya parliament. I think they walk into that 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 red carpet that even your shoes disappear into it, and you just and then you sit on those red chairs, and you just say, "Hey, Apana." Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me to say what again? Ati, 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 you wanted me to say what? Hi, Apana, Apana. Then you walk across to you walk across the tunnel to Continental House and you have an office, gym, cafeteria, everything else. Hey, you just see. Yes. You, you see. And it's even if you hard. remember, you're trying to talk to your fellow MPs about, oh, you know, that whatever, that policy. I guys are not there. You know, they they they, they laugh they laugh and they'll tell each other, no, don't worry, he's new. You know, the way yeah. the way oh, people yeah. in secondary uh, laugh at uh, you when you join form one. Yeah. That's how they laugh at you. Don't give him time. You see the Western thing we are talking about that's unraveling. Yeah. Our it's ours goes sort of at that rate. It's yeah. it's we are so tied to that thing that that even now the West has lost its way, but Kenya still follows the West, mm -hmm. not knowing the West is lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so so as it unravels out there, it it will unravel here as well. And um just just by attrition you know you know even even in our traditional structures the the elders were respected and all that but okay you're respected because of your age etc but you're also respected because you are wise and you give wise counsel you start talking bs ah people you'll be sidelined yeah they say ah if you want if you want advice on this watch and mm. you remain peripheral it's you so the, the intellectual fiber has to be there. And right now, intellectual fiber is something that's so rare in this country. And it's and it's it's they are just going to fall by the wayside. And I think even next election, come next election, mm. they'll be even uh, they'll be even the water will be even waters will be even muddier. Mm. Because all over, all over people will be just telling these the elected leaders, whether it's MPs, MCS, governors, senators, because what have you nini? People are saying that maybe they'll have uh, fixed the economy by then, by <laughs> seven. Yeah, miracles happen like that. Like in those were those are not those are another time, not now. Mm. I mean, I mean, it, there is something like someone might have a journey, and and they may be they may not be moving at the speed they need to be moving at. So mm -hmm. I'm going to Nairobi from Nanyuki. Maybe I wanted to reach Nairobi by two, and two, I'm only in Muranga. But I'm moving, and I've made progress. Mm -hmm. This car is not moving. This car is on stones. Mm -hmm. So time even is not a... You know, even, even, the, even the people who say, we need to be patient. You know, you're patient with someone who's moving slowly, but he's moving. You can't be patient with someone who's standing. He's, he'll still be there tomorrow, <laughs> standing at the same spot. A car on stones doesn't move slowly, mm. and that's what people will will start saying. Okay, maybe this is not the car we need. Maybe we should be, we should be take our bikes and and start riding. This car is taking us nowhere. Some people will say, "Ah, me, let me start walking." Hey, but we are not there. We now. I'm kind. Okay, I hope I don't despair. But I just feel that, yeah, we are not there. Yeah, we. Are, in fact, the 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 iron the irony of Kenya is that um, if you look at what's happened in West Africa, mm. it's it, it's something of a some sort of revolution led by young enlightened mm. soldiers with different ideas that they want to implement. Mm. Kenya, Kenya, I think it will happen in a different way in in yeah. that there'll be a vacuum and this vacuum yes. will be caused by a collapse yeah. of the system under its own idiocy and contradictions 
and laziness. Mm. It will collapse. Mm. And There's then something will have to grow in its space. Yeah. Because there is a way in which it's very difficult to, you know, even the space to say that this thing is not working. We don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it because people will say, oh, the past, oh, you're negative. I'll, gosh, hey. It's so tight. Hey. Yeah. I mean, really I mean, for, because for some time people, a lot of people would tell me like, no, I'm go we have to, we have to protest and make calls and do everything we can to yeah. get you, as in me, to be director of KWS or something like that. That's their then only realize, thing. Yeah. Then I, then I realized the problem is the structure. We have created straight jackets. Mm. Parliament is a straight yes. jacket. You elect a good yeah. person, he enters that house, is just on way way to Leo. Yeah. Yes. He, a good person is appointed a cabinet minister. He enters that cabinet room. He's just told, where, where? There's a structure that has to collapse. And it, the, no one's going to knock it down from the outside. It's it's just yeah. going to kill it with its own nonsense, under the weight of its own nonsense. If, if I talk about the conservation space, the, the, yeah. the, the Kenya Wildlife Service came from the game department. Yeah. And the game department was created to facilitate wildlife based recreation for white people and keep black people out of those places. that's why it was created mm. so even though we gave them new different looking uniforms built a new headquarters etc etc in 1989 when Richard Leakey took over we did not change that philosophy mm. it is still there to provide white recreational spaces national parks are white spaces even though even though Many tourists who visit them these days are black. But tourism is a white activity. Tourism, the way we do it, is a white activity. It's not a black activity. It's white. And the the the, the guarding of, of wildlife areas with people with guns, etc., is a is a that's a white thing. So so we have the Victorian gamekeeper model, is what we based it on. And we haven't changed that. So to go in there. You you can even have these new ideas and you look through the organization and you know which you don't even know which office can can handle these ideas. <laughs> we still have Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife that think that that so even our government supposes that wildlife is for tourism. So <laughs> of course. Okay, let's say you are appointed Sijui Deputy Director KWF. Mm. Okay, mm. you have these ideas. So you you on day one, what happens? What operation is this? Because you're saying philosophy, but philosophy is not a tangible. You have a board that is that is that is is appointed and constituted yes. in a way that protects the white space. It's 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 there's always some rich foreigner. Now it's Edward Norton, oh, yeah, this Hollywood yeah, actor. Yeah. It you before him it, it was Jochen Zeitz, who is this German industrialist. He used to own Puma Sportswear and other things. He's a billionaire. Why he was on KWS board, anyone knows, but it's to protect the elite white space. I'm sure in the future Richard Branson will be there. Yeah, in fact, I'm surprised he has never been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's just been too quick to go busy but but he, he he he'll be there and you realize these are people who you know people people solicit places on boards uh, parastatal boards kenyans routinely do but yeah. these sort of people don't solicit places spaces yeah they're they're approached they're approached I can't lie to myself that Jochen Zaitz actually wanted a, a place on KWS <laughs> board he's got so much going on all over the globe Richard Branson is Virgin Atlantic Airlines, New Virgin Rail, all these things. He doesn't have time to be, he'll have to be asked and he will be asked. And, and th that's the thing. So once you get into these organizations, yeah, you'll find these structures that, 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 uh, okay, you're, you're put in this position. You're told this is the policy. This is the policy and the policy has already put you in a straight jacket. These are the, the vision. Vision is a straight jacket. Strategic plan, straight jacket, jacket. Oh. log frame. Yes. You know those documents? Yeah. yeah. 
Ah. So you told even even as CEO or director general, wewe ni mtu wa mkono. Like you read all these stories about these CEOs in the, the American companies like Lee Iacocca who transformed General Motors and all that. The CEOs we have in Kenya do not have space to do that. No, 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 no. You can't transform a company here. In fact, the way it's structured, it's structured so that <laughs> Mordecai can even be put in as CEO of a bank. And I know nothing about banking. It's, it's you called it managerialism or something. Mm, mm. Mm. You create a structure where someone can come in there who knows nothing and he can go on and, and perform the duties because there was no space for any ideas, good or bad. So his 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 lack of knowledge doesn't uh, doesn't harm him or 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 change the direction of the organization. So even if you put a brilliant person, his brilliance can't help. Mm. Yeah. In fact, you fight. You fight. If he's if he's if he's mentally uh, intellectually strong enough, he'll just walk out. He'll mm -hmm. get tired of fighting and he'll just walk out. Yes. But other, but so many, especially state organizations, so many just give up and say, Ah, wacha nikule wile wata nakula. Let me make my retirement. Uh, my let pension. Me put some, I do, then I go. Yeah, make my pension. Put something together for my retirement and and go. It's just this thing. This thing has to fall, and it's just rotting. It's rotting, okay. so it will fall. And unfortunately, such falls cannot be predicted as to when it might happen. And 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 the and you know, obviously, if you can't predict when it might happen, also you can't prepare, so it might catch us yeah. off off guard. Even if yeah. this house falls, if I didn't know it was falling, it might I might get covered in it, or it might injure me. So that's the that's the pro, that's the problem. It's definitely falling, but I don't know when or I don't know when. But it, I know it can't survive. It is too overloaded with hypocrisy, lies, um, laziness, hollowness, cronyism, yeah. cronyism. Those things, yeah, yeah. Those cr cronyism, nepotism. Those things. Those things are too heavy a burden for any structure to bear. It has to come down. I just don't know when or how. There's a reset that's going to happen. It 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 yeah. it yeah. It it will. Um, if someone doesn't reset the system, it will hang the way computers hang. You know, <laughs> it will, it will hang. And collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will hang. It will crash, mm -hmm. or else someone needs to reset it. Mm -hmm.